Hey guys, it's Camille from SigSisterStuff.com and today we are making our peanut butter cup truffles. I love these because they require no baking and you can get your kids involved and give them some jobs to do that make this a fun family activity. So to get started, first you've got to blend your cookies. Now you can do this in a blender, that's the way I prefer to do it. If you don't have a high power blender, you could put the cookies inside of a resealable gallon sized bag and crush them with a rolling pin until they are fine crumbs. Pour those crumbs into a bowl and then you're gonna add one block of cream cheese. Mix those together, sometimes it's easier to just use your hands. Continue to mix until you've got a nice firm dough. The next thing you're gonna do is chop up some Reese's peanut butter cups. Now I bought the mini kind that are unwrapped just so it's one less step that you have to do, but any type of peanut butter cup will work. You just wanna chop them up into small pieces, and then you're gonna add them to your bowl of dough. Fold those peanut butter cups into the dough until it's all mixed together. The next part is fun because you can get everybody involved and you're gonna make your dough balls. So roll your dough into one inch balls and place on a cookie sheet that you have lined with aluminum foil. You'll repeat that process until all the dough is rolled into balls. Stick that pan in the freezer for about 30 to 40 minutes so that the balls can harden. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is melting our chocolate. I just use a bag of milk chocolate chips, but any type of chocolate chips will work. We're also gonna be adding in about a tablespoon of shortening, give or take. Melt the chocolate chips and shortening together in the microwave. I just do it on 30 second intervals until the chocolate is completely melted. So once your chocolate is melted, you'll dip each frozen cookie dough ball into the melted chocolate. Make sure that the truffle is completely covered in chocolate and then gently lift up and tap it on the side of the bowl to remove any excess chocolate. You'll then place the cookie truffle back onto the pan covered in aluminum foil and immediately sprinkle with sprinkles on top before the chocolate sets up. Repeat that process until all of the truffles are covered in chocolate and then stick in the fridge for a couple of minutes to really let them set. Once you've done that, you can remove them from the fridge and enjoy. For this recipe and thousands of others just like it, be sure to check out SixSisterStuff.com.